Or you can put them right here on the bookshelf right here. Since it's black, it'll be easier to see. And we're gonna put the screws down because we're gonna use them a little later. Grab your pole, slide the ring on, and it's gonna land right on the roof. Lastly, we're gonna grab the top of our pole and insert our pole into the hole. Perfect. Right now, I've already measured Now I'm going to take my pole and insert it into the adjustment rod. The pole? Uh, this adjustment rod is... Okay, I need to, um... Because that opens up, right? Yeah, I think it's going to, like, along the edge. Yeah. Um, okay, so what do we got to do? We got to keep it. You put something in. There you go. And turn the adjustment rod. Yeah, you put those in. So what is going to create the necessary tension between my ceiling and the floor to make sure my pole is safe and sturdy? Because it opens up, right? Oh, okay. Perfect. Ready for next direction? So you can just slide down there. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep turning until it becomes very difficult for me to turn. So now that I've tightened the pole to the point where it's very difficult for me to make it any tighter, I know that my pole is in nice and sturdy. I'm going to take the second ring, screw it all the way down to lock the adjustment rod in place. To finish installing my pole, again, the last piece that we added on, I have the circles pointing upwards. I'm gonna line the circles up with the hole, and I'm going to insert the screw again. And you wanna repeat this step on both sides. For the additional extensions that are left behind, I recommend storing them in a safe place because you never know when you may need them, especially if you move your pole and the ceiling heights aren't the same. And that's it. Congrats on installing your fits of blunt pole.
In under 25 minutes, we put the pole up. How much is this? Um, this was 220. Yeah, the pole that I was originally gonna get was like $500. Oh yeah, you did something like that. So you found this one. Yeah. Oh, this one was like 250. I am definitely gonna call a lot. Hey you guys, so I was playing around on the pole for a little bit. I put my heels on. I was just like walking around the pole, poppy crazy. Um, and just like playing around, like, you know, walking around the pole a little bit faster, doing a little spin in there, you know, jumping the pole a little bit, just, uh -huh, just um, hopping on there and stuff like that and just playing. And I had my first fall, like legit fall. Like I did not catch myself. There's no catching yourself in those hills, honestly. Um, Cause they're so high up. So, um, and I just let myself fall. Um, so, and then I was actually sweating after doing that for only like maybe 10, 15 minutes. So. I sat down to call my mom and tell her that I had my pole up because she thought that I wasn't going to be able to put it up without her assistance. Um, can you not bite me in my face? Do y'all, anybody who have cats, uh, comment down below. Does your cat bite you in the face? Like when they're like loving all the point and stuff. Oh my God. Uh, so I got the silicone pole because the grip is like at a 10 versus the chrome is like a six i think and my hands get sweaty so the silicone pole lets you grip on easier it's better for like you know hopping on for tricks and stuff like that climbing the pole which i'm gonna learn how to do because you know i want to tone my whole body but um yeah the silicone pole has cat hair all over it already so just beware for uh furball owners but if you get a silicone pole you will have pet hair on it. So I'm just gonna probably get a whole bunch of like alcohol um, or just keep like Lysol wipes or something up here in the loft so that I just, you know, of course wipe the pole down and stuff like that. But yeah, I laid down on the couch. Um, this is the couch from the old apartment actually up here. And because I was sweating and stuff like that to call my mom and then this little one came up here. Don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. You looking for somewhere to bite. See, look. I can't. Please comment down below if your cat does this too, like always nibbling at you. Like he doesn't do it to hurt me, but sometimes he'll get, he's gotten my nose on my lip before and he doesn't really let go right away. He like holds on for a bit, like, I got you. And then he'll let go. Explain to the people, Poppy. Explain to the people. <laughs> I didn't know how it. Oh, so for those, so um, I don't think I've mentioned this to YouTube, but you all have, I don't think you all have ever really seen Poppy. <laughs> Disrespectful. I think you all have only seen pineapple because, oof, cat hair flying in the air. Um, because pineapple was very vocal and um, somebody's at my door. Alrighty, you guys, so the poll is all put together. 
and the wall. I have, um, Poppy was playing with the bubble wrap, so we kept that there for him. Move that over. Poppy, keep your bubble wrap out the way. Out the way. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, it feels really secure. That noise that you hear is this right here. I'm sorry, you can't see. Um, this right here, which is if you watch the Fit to Flaunt pole um, assembly video, then you'll see that this covers the tension rod that I was like twisting forever. Um, so that just covers that up so you don't see that ugly rod. And then down here, I have my pole on spin right now. So you can see I'm spinning it. You can put it on stagnant. And all you would do to do that, those are my shoes over there. All you would do to do that is you want to um, line the screws up with these arrows. And then right now you can see the screws are flush. This one's actually out a little bit. Um, but they need to be flush to the pole, which means they're loosened to be on spin. Um, but I feel like it's not supposed to make that noise. So make sure try to make sure that everything is good. Um, but yeah, when it's not on spin, you just screw the screws back in and it holds it in place. So I'm probably gonna keep it on static for a while while I'm first uh, playing with the pole because uh, I'm gonna be like conditioning for strength and stuff, pulling myself up and putting myself down. Not really too much spinning, but I need to figure out that clicking from the pole is tiny. Like, I feel like it's this, but then I feel like I hear the pole like kind of click. I don't know. I want to spin on it and see if it clicks when I spin on it because it wasn't clicking just earlier when I was spinning on it. So I'm going to see. I'm going to see. My brother did that art, by the way. Probably seen it in the old apartment. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I'm just going to put you on the stand, just in case. Yeah, earlier it wasn't even a Something up there though. I think it's something up in there. So um, I think I'm gonna take this apart, take this cover part off really quick and see what's clicking on the inside.
Y'all saw that shit, right? I'm so glad I was recording for that. The pole almost fell. The pole almost fell. Luckily, I did not pick my back foot up off the ground. I'm shook. Oh, as y'all saw, the pole like shifted. Um, and that's another reason why I really wanted this pole because of the top base. It makes it harder for the pole to actually fall. So even though the pole shifted, it didn't actually fall because the top portion is so big and the bottom portion is a lot bigger. Most poles, the bottom portion is just like this circle and the top is the same. So there's nothing to like be a backup for when they fall. Sorry, I'm holding my phone in my hand, but um, yeah, so I'm thinking the clicking must be like, I didn't tighten the adjustment bar, lock it into place enough and it must have like, kind of unshimmied itself or something. I don't know. I'm gonna take that piece off again though, wherever the adjustment bar is. And when my girlfriend gets done with her nap, she's gonna help me make sure that this is secure because I'm not trying to be one of those people that falls on their face with their pole. And I don't wanna be falling either because this munchkin is more than likely gonna be like always around when I'm practicing. So uh, the last thing I need is for it to fall on him. But yeah, um, I already fell myself playing around on the pole in those shoes, carpet, and uh, <laughs> those boots are not a good mixture. So we're just having a lot of fun today. But um, I'd rather, like, I'm glad that it's happening with me so then y'all can see <laughs> what could potentially happen. But I'm not saying there's anything wrong with, like, the product at all. Like, the product is amazing. It's great quality. Um, just something is happening. Um, yeah, something's happening. Something that we must have not did right. So we'll figure it out. But I love it already.